Hey, welcome to the Joy Filipina channel. My name is James. Uh, we're in about the middle of our six day quarantine and I thought it might be interesting to go over the items that we pack to, uh, for a family of four for the quarantine. I use this backpack for my carry on. Um, kind of thinking now next time I'll get something that has wheels. Uh, there's a lot of lines to wait in, uh, more so than before due to the quarantine and swab tests and, and uh, restrictions. Um, but in the backpack, I had my, um, my noise canceling headphones, toiletries, and I brought my coffee mug um, as my water bottle. Uh, I got my laptop. Don't forget your charging cables. And because we're going to be in quarantine for so long, I wanted a full size mouse and mouse pad, which I'm glad I got because the tables are glass. Um, power bank and then for the power banks you need to be aware of the voltage because the voltage um, if it doesn't support 240 then you're going to have a problem um, getting it getting it charged here in the Philippines and then make sure you have the different USB cables I have both the USB I have both varieties of USB here uh, B and C uh, your documents and so again family of four we've got Big stack of documents, passports. Of course, we all need masks now. Uh, we packed uh, three masks each, and I had a bag to put the dirty ones in, which was really smart because when uh, we were traveling, we are wearing this mask for like 12 hours, and it was killing my ears, so I had to switch to another one. Uh, phone, and that's my US phone. And then, because we knew we were gonna be in quarantine, we weren't sure of the food situation, we brought a bunch of a bunch of snacks here, oatmeal, uh, very important, um, instant coffee. I wish I brought more. Uh, sugar, uh, sweetener, um, any medication you probably want to bring on your own. If you think that there's a chance you might get sick, um, advise bringing medications you're familiar with back home because um, it's going to be difficult to try to explain exactly what you want uh, someone to go and get for you. Um, another big one: paper towels. Um, we're in, in an apartment, um, not a hotel room, but and so we have a little kitchen, so we um, have been using these a lot. Uh, we've got the Bluetooth um, speaker, vitamins. Uh, when you get off the plane, you're going to need money pretty much right away So um, to give tips and things. And so um, uh, if you don't get currency before you leave the U.S., there's a currency exchange right when you leave baggage claim. After you get your bags and your hotel ride is there to take you to the quarantine hotel, uh, you go outside and there's a, a Globe and Smart um, kiosk so you can get your, your uh, SIM card. Um, this is an extra phone, an old phone that I have that I uh, put the SIM in, so that's working fine. And then I have this uh, um, step-down transformer, it's just a little one. Um, let me plug it in and step down the voltage for US. It also has USB charging ports in there that was really cheap on Amazon, so I advise getting one of those. Another popular item was this Fire Stick because we can hook up our Netflix and Amazon Prime and YouTube accounts to that, and so we've been watching that on the TV here. No issues at all, that supports 240 uh, volts as well as 110. I brought some exercise bands so that we can actually try to get some exercise doing something besides sitting around all day. Um, bought a bunch of games and puzzles. To be honest, the puzzles have been much more fun. Um, I think if you're traveling alone, probably a puzzle over a card game. Um, we did not bring a bar of soap, and so one of the things that the hotel went out and got for us, we had them uh, do a shopping trip for us the other day, and so we got a, a full-size bar of soap that's not gonna disintegrate after two showers. And then again, because we have a kitchen, we asked for um, some cleaning supplies to clean the, the dishes there, and so they were um, really helpful in getting that. 